Hello everyone, uh, this is a late night uh, video because uh, Pag-asa issued at 8 p.m. October 31 a warning about a typhoon and uh, the thing that uh, concerns me is the storm surge remembering what happened to Tacloban in Tacloban there were many Seventh-day Adventists who died inside the church they also prayed but they did not follow the warning for evacuation so uh, we want to not to repeat that the storm surge warning is 3 meters uh, Quezon province Pulillo Camarines Catanduanes 2.1 to 3 meters over Manila, Cavite, Bulacan, Pampanga, Bataan, Batangas and 1 to 2 meters over Aurora, Sambales, Occidental, Mindoro, Batangas, etc. I have friends in Mindoro and I want them to not to be swept away by the storm surge. So did Pagasa warn the people in Tacloban? I found out that Pagasa did, but they used the term storm surge instead of tsunami because maybe tsunami comes from volcanoes and storm surge comes from wind. And uh, there is people were not. Uh, familiar with the term storm surge that's why they didn't take it seriously they were warned but they did not uh, follow 6,000 people died which is about 2.5 percent of the population so I look for San Jose Mindoro hazard map I found a flood map but the flood map is for rivers. I found a tsunami map. You can just Google that San Jose Mindoro tsunami map. I clicked that and this is what I saw. This is the flood map. It's about rivers and lowlands. But the tsunami map is this one. Rizal San Jose Magsaysay tsunami hazard map. So if there's a tsunami of 3 meters, I don't know if this understand correctly, the tsunami will cover these areas. My friends are staying near the airport here. And I am very afraid if the 2 meters of Pagasa warning this 8 p.m. happens actually, then it will be like a 2 meters tsunami this tsunami is drawn here is 3 meters tsunami so if it's about third well, two thirds of that 2 meters would be maybe just estimate here and that covers the whole barangay even the evacuation center they have to evacuate to the mountains actually that's why Ellen White advised that when you buy land or you put up a school, if possible, Adventist school should be in the mountain because the Bible says in the last days there will be many natural calamities. So imagine I'm warning my friends, the OST says there can be a 2 meter high risk storm surge of 2 meters in your place they are staying right just 10 meters away from the coastline and this is how it will cover if they have nowhere to go I don't know what to do if they don't believe I hope uh, the Tacloban see in Tacloban city the storm surge was only 2.3 meters but it went into the city about one kilometer 
and we killed uh, 6,000 people. It's only 2.3 uh, meters according to this uh, uh, story of what happened. So we can learn from the past. I hope that the Adventists will take double precautions because if the government warns about something, that means it's late already. We should be advanced. We were warned by the prophets where to locate our house and about the prophecies about natural calamities. So we should take double, we should be actually advanced as seven day Adventists. We have to be advanced than the government. If the government says smoking is not good, we already knew that hundreds of years before. I hope <clears throat> we will uh, be more advanced than what the government knows about this one. So take care everyone. Storm surge almost means tsunami and you don't want to be in that area. You can google your place, look for the hazard map tsunami and you will find the field box uh, so you will see about the risk. Thank you and take care everyone.